Hey guys, it is Jim. So this beautiful smiling face across from me, that's Cecilia Ioli. And, uh, and by the way, I've practiced that a few times with Cecilia's help while we were doing this, who is uh, Joanna here in, um, in our amazing production of Sweeney Todd. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you so like, much. It's been amazing and, ama and we've had some really cool runs here, but yeah. there's something that seems to be really special about what you guys yeah. are doing on stage. This one's been really, really special, absolutely. How does it feel being, because let's face it, it's not the most uplifting show in the world, <laughs> but true. at the same time, there's got a lot of humor in it absolutely. and like you can hear all these audible gasps and other yeah. things. So what's the experience been like? Well, it's just been really incredible just the whole, whole time, the whole journey. Um, but when we did get an audience, um, it was very interesting to see where the lighter moments were and, and where they laughed and where they gasped and that's been really fun to experience because it sometimes it's in a different place every night um, but it's fun it's really fun to find those moments of lightness or moments of humor in this show because I mean yeah you know it is a pretty dark show and tons of standing ovations yeah yeah the audiences have been incredible they've been amazing yeah this is your first time at the paramount with it us is before. Mm -hmm. so let's backtrack a little bit you're originally from tempe arizona I am. and then you went to the university of arizona yep. so when was it that you decided you're gonna be an actor for a living was it not till you got to college just start early on um so i did i grew up doing community theater youth theater in phoenix arizona and it was when i was doing theater there at valley youth theater um that what was, was your like, first show uh, my first show I was in uh, was Charlotte's Web, the musical, and I was a baby duckling. Nice. Yeah, it was so fun, and I decided I wanted to do it forever. And um, But when I was doing youth theater, um, growing up in Phoenix was when I was like, you know what, this is, I like this. And then I got to college, and that just only further was cemented for me. And um, I had a really great training program that I was in, at, in Arizona. And that was kind of like, okay, yeah, this is, this is what I need to do. So when you go to college, and uh, you come home and go, Mom, Dad, I'm going to pursue acting for a uh, living. How, how, like, because oftentimes, yeah, let's you face know, it. Both my parents are engineers. So I think they were oh, so at this first. Is this is just, they were completely flabbergasted at first. But, you know, my mom always blames herself because I grew up seeing theater with her. She loves the arts. She loves theater. So I grew up going to musicals. And so when I told her, I think she was like, uh-oh, this is my fault. Um, <laughs> because I just fell in love with it so much because she... Um, brought me to theater growing up as a kid. So um, at first I think they were like, wait, what? You can't make money doing that. And after that, they've just been so supportive. So it was, you know, a little surprise at first, but ever since then, they've been incredible. Now you've done a ton of classically, classic training. So mm -hmm. Shakespeare and Chekhov and, and uh, so I guess it's got to come in handy, especially for something like this, because truly you're doing an opera when you're on the stage, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, and um, having studied text work in school, especially with that classical work like Shakespeare, I mean, the text is so important. Um, and so to work on a show like this, I think that really was helpful to go back to the text and studying the text and looking at what are all these beautiful words that have been written. And even in a song, you know, a song is very similar to a sonnet or a verse in Shakespeare. Um, and to analyze that, in that way and uh, I think my training had came in came in you very useful for this show now you've done all sorts of different plays uh, from Little Mermaid and Titanic and Spell and Bee and all shook up any specific kind of show you really enjoy more than others or is each one just unique and wonderful everything is I mean each one is so unique and wonderful I, I just did the Little Mermaid and that was it's so different than doing something like this and um, I don't think I prefer one over the other. I like I like the variety. You know, it's really fun to do a, a show where kids can come and see and really enjoy that. Um, but then doing something like this is so enjoyable because it's so different. And I and you do get to explore that darker side of theater. And the themes in this are so complex and rich. And as an actor, that's something I love to just delve into. And so it's been so enjoyable to do something like this too. How'd you go from Arizona to Chicago? Um, so it was just kind of a fluke. I was trying to decide where to move after after school and I had a ton of friends that were in Chicago and just kind of said you know like this is a good place to be and people are kind and welcoming and the art is incredible here and why don't you give it a chance and I did and I kind of just on a whim decided okay maybe I'll try Chicago and it's worked out beautifully I absolutely love Chicago. 
You obviously visited Chicago then before you actually moved just here? Once, or just, just once. Just once to convince, yeah, yeah, that's what And did you took. have to visit here considering you're from Arizona? Did you visit when there was actual cold and no. snow? Oh. No, I visited in um, September and Oh, that's I, really representative yeah, exactly. of what it's and like. Yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, this is nice. Oh, I can do this. But then, you know, I've just been here. This is just my second year here and it's my second winter. And the past two winters have been very mild. Oh, yeah, dude. So it's... I don't think I really have an accurate right. representation of what Chicago winter is like. So it's, I mean, it hasn't been too bad for me. People don't realize you train in all sorts of different things when you're an actor. And I always look at resumes and I always try to see the skills yeah. because when you're auditioning for plays or movies or whatever else, industrials, they like to see. And one of the unique things you had was you uh, have been well trained in uh, stage combat yeah. with different blades Absolutely. and those kind of things. Yeah, so um, I'm certified for rapier and dagger and broadsword and unarmed, and that actually comes in handy for this show. Yeah. Um, so that's really exciting to get to use that training because a lot of times in musical theater I don't, um, and it is a passion of mine and I love it. So it's been fun to do it in this show. Past three summers, you've gotten to do something really cool. And so you spend your summers in this beautiful place called uh, Grand Lake, Colorado. I've, mm -hmm. You and I were talking off camera. I've been there because I used to spend time nearby. And you were in the uh, Rocky Mountain Rep Theater yeah. group out there. So talk about that a little bit. Oh, it was wonderful. I mean, that was my first professional gig. Um, so it was gorgeous and just beautiful to spend my summers in um, in the Rocky Mountains and beautiful Grand Lake. It's it's just amazing and there's a really incredible theater out there um, and we did three shows each summer and we did all three shows all summer um, and it was it's just the most wonderful experience great people and it really does feel like you're on vacation all summer. It's it's wonderful. When I do these I always snoop into people's lives so I went on your Facebook page and you have this really kind of warm cool small town photo and it is you and the caption is a Buffalo barbecue parade yeah. 2016 and it seems like you guys were the grand marshals of yeah. this whole thing so they have a parade every year for the buffalo barbecue i mean they have buffalo barbecue weekend and there's an actual buffalo barbecue there's a parade that goes on i mean there's just events all weekend for buffalo barbecue and um this last summer when we were doing the little mermaid um my ariel and sebastian and flounder got to ride in a convertible and drive down the only one street in grand lake and um, waved to all the kids and it was, it was a wonderful storybook moment. Awesome. Yeah. I also saw that uh, on your resume, you're a coffee fiend. Oh, basically. absolutely. Yes. Oh, it should be on my resume. Yeah. Yeah. A professional coffee drinker. Right. Absolutely. And any kind of uh, coffee in general is your oh, favorite? Just any kind that will wake me up in the morning. Honestly. Nice. Well, look, you are an amazingly talented uh, actor, you. and it's been nothing but a pleasure to have you as part of our family thank here. You so, much. so thank you, by the way, for spending time with us, because just so people know, you just finished a uh, matinee, you've got yeah. a little time off, and you're going to turn around and do another show tonight. Absolutely. So what do you do in between, if you don't mind me asking? Um, today I'm going to go get a sandwich from Jimmy John's. Nice. And then back at it. And then back at it. Well, yeah. look, Cecilia, you're wonderful. Thank you again for being a part of this. We Thank look forward so to having much. you back it's here again with us. Here. Come see Cecilia and all her castmates through March 19th. 19th Everybody's yeah. shaking your heads. Yes, yes. Yes. Thanks again. Thank Congratulations so for Thank all your you. success. Thank you.